वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑफ 8051 माइक्रोकंट्रोलर आर्किटेक्चर ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर आर आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ 8051 देन फीचर्स ऑफ 8051 एंड डिफरेंट वर्जन्स ऑफ 8051 Let us have brief introduction of 8051 architecture. 8051 is having CPU which has ALU of 8 bit. Since 8051 is 8 bit microcontroller, size of its ALU is 8 bit. That means ALU can perform operations, arithmetic and logical operations on 8 bit of data. 8051 has internal ROM memory of 4 kilobyte. So its addresses for ROM memory starts from 00H and last address is FFFH. It has internal RAM memory of size 128 byte. So address for internal RAM memory starts from 00H to 7FH. Above this addresses, that means from address 80H. special function registers are resides in internal memory 8051 has two 16 bit timers timer 0 and timer 1 this timer blocks can be used as a counter block also generally timers are used to provide a delay a generated delay and counters are used to count external events it has four input output ports P0, P1, P2, and P3. Each port size is of 8 bit. So total 38 I/O pins are available in 8051. Internally, serial communication block is available, and this block has two terminal. One terminal is TXD that is used to transmit data serially, and other terminal is RXD. which is used to receive data serially then it has different signals all these signals are controlled or managed by bus control block the signals such as vcc ground then psen ea bar that is external address enable ale address latch enable all these signals are managed by bus control block for synchronization of operation of all these blocks 8051 needs a clock frequency this clock frequency is generated by internal oscillator block to which external crystal is connected at pit terminal xtal1 and xtal2 it also has interrupt control block which controls the external interrupts of 8051 microcontroller let us understand the features of 8051 microcontroller first feature is related to operating frequency of microcontroller as we know each microcontroller requires clock signal for synchronization of operation in 8051 this clock signal is generated using crystal oscillator crystal oscillator circuit is available internally but user has to connect external crystal to pin xtal2 and xtal1 the frequency of this crystal can vary from 1 megahertz to 16 megahertz generally crystal frequency of 11.0592 megahertz is used for application capacitor c2 and c1 are connected to reduce the noise so this is the external circuit which should be connect to generate a clock signal for operation of 8051 microcontroller the next feature of 8051 is data bus the size of data bus is 8 bit since 8051 is 8 bit microcontroller it operates on 8 bit of data This data bus is bidirectional so it is used to transmit data from CPU to IO devices or to memory or other devices it is also used to receive a data by CPU from memory or external IO devices or other internal devices the next bus 
is address bus. The size of address bus of 8051 is 16-bit. Since it is 16-bit, the maximum memory which we can interface to this 8051 is 2 raised to power 16. That comes out to be 65536 byte and that is nearly equal to 64 kilobytes. Next feature of 8051 is internal memory. Internal ROM memory is available of size 4 kilobyte. So it address ranges from 000H to FFFH. The internal RAM memory available is of 128 bytes. So address of internal RAM starts from 00H and ends at 7FH. The special function register resides in the memory which is above internal RAM. So it starts from address 80H and ends at address FFH. Two registers are associated with ALU of 8051. The first important register is register A. It is also called as an accumulator. The size of accumulator is 8 bit and in most of the instruction this accumulator is used. Along with accumulator, the second register is register B. It is also 8 bit register and it is called as a math register. So both this register can be used to store 8 bit data. The next register is program status word register, which is called as a PSW register. The format of PSW register will be discussed in next slides. Then it is having a stack pointer register called as a SP. The stack is a memory area which user used to store temporary data. In 8051, the internal RAM memory can be used as a stack memory. By default, this stack pointer point to the memory location 07H. So by default, 07H is at the top of the stack memory. Microcontroller has 16-bit program counter register, which is called as PC. This register is used to store address of memory location from where microcontroller is going to fetch the opcode of instruction. For example, here 0x009, that is address of memory location where instruction is stored, is placed in program counter. While fetching the instruction, the contents of this program counter are placed on the address bus and the particular memory location get activated. Now the data or opcode which is stored at this particular memory location, in this example, it is 54H, will be placed on the data bus and microcontroller reads that opcode. So PC is generally used to point internal or external program memory and that's why it is called as a program counter. After fetching of instruction, automatically contents of program counter are incremented by one and it will point to next memory location of program memory. 16-bit data pointer register is used to point data memory. So the address of data memory, maybe internal or external memory, should be stored in DPTR register. This DPTR register is divided into two registers and both these registers are 8-bit. These registers are called as a DPL and DPH. DPL is lower 8-bit register and DPH is upper 8-bit register. Both these registers can be used to store 8-bit general purpose data separately. And DPTR register can also be used to store 16-bit general purpose data. The other feature of 8051 are, it has two 16-bit timer counters. It has five interrupts plus one reset terminal is used as a hardware interrupt. So total six interrupts are there. It has universal asynchronous receiver transmitter that is UART block, which is used for serial communication. Then it has four input output ports. 
each port is having 8 bit port terminals so total 32 port bits are available to interface input output devices Different versions of 8051 microcontroller are available. The first original 8051 microcontroller is fabricated by Intel. This family of microcontroller is known as MCS51. There are two more members available in this family. These are 8052 and 8031. Let us go through the difference between these three family members. The first is RAM memory. So 8051 has a RAM memory of 128 byte, 8052 has 256 byte, and 8031 has 128 bytes of RAM memory. 8051 has RAM ROM memory of 4 kilobyte, 8052 has 8 kilobyte, and 8031 has 0 kilobytes. There are two timers in 8051. 3 timers in 8052 and 2 timers in 8031. All these 3 family members has one serial communication port. The I.O. port pins are 32 in all these 3 family members. Interrupt sources are 6 in 8051 that includes reset also. In 8052, interrupt sources are 8. And in 8031, interrupt sources are free. The popular microcontroller 8089C51 is developed by Atmel Corporation. This microcontroller has internal flash ROM memory. Due to this flash ROM memory, it is possible to write and erase a program in the microcontroller chip, even the chip is in the circuit. This flash ROM is type of E square ROM. This Atmel microcontrollers are available in the various types that is 8089C51, 8089C52, 8089C1051, 8089C2051, 8089LV51, 8089LV52. The ROM memory of this microcontroller varies from 1 kilobyte to 8 kilobyte. RAM memory varies from 64 bytes to 256 bytes. The I.O. port pins varies from 15 to 32. And the timers, timer 1, 2 and 3, this 3 timers, maximum 3 timers are available in this version. The interrupts, three interrupt pins are available in one microcontroller, six interrupts and eight interrupt pins are available. This supply voltage can be three volt or it can be a five volt for different version. And the IC package, so ICs are available in 20 pin package as well as in 40 pin package. This, is, this depends upon the versions of this microcontroller. DS5000 microcontroller is developed by Dallas Semiconductor. This Dallas Semiconductor fabricated the NVRAM version of 8051. The advantage of NVRAM memory is the facility to erase the contents one byte at a time. The four family members of this Dallas Semiconductor microcontrollers are shown here. Each of this member is having RAM memory of 128 byte. The ROM memory depends upon this uh, version. It can be 8 kilobyte or 32 kilobyte. Two timers are available in all versions. 32 I.O. pins are available in all versions and sync interrupts are available. Then VCC is 5 hold for all this microcontroller and they are available in the package of 40 pin. Thank you for watching this video.